Hello everyone, I'm making this video to show you the creation of my male shepherd in Mass Effect 1. There's the game, and now we're gonna create our character. I was thinking whether I should create uh, the default model or a custom model because I'm because I tend to create one of the ugliest shepherds out there, but well, you didn't want to to see a default model, so uh, you're gonna see the custom model. Classified information requested. Oh, I like the character creation here because you you enter this this supposed database and it tells you that the records are corrupted or something, and then you have to restore it with your data. Okay, so new ID, gonna be a custom mail. Please log in to access your profile. How do I type? Okay, left shepherd. Warning, data yes, corruption that's what I was detected. talking about. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service Okay, history. now my background. Okay, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting. Never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Colonist. You were born and raised on Mindo Mindoar, or how is this pronounced? A small border colony in the Atkan Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided this colony, slaughtered your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. I think that is gonna be my uh, origin, but let me just read the Earthborn too. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth, or megatropolises. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Okay, so I think colonist fits what kind of my personal preference for origin. Uh, not that I wish my family was slaughtered, but I guess you know what I mean. It will fit me best, I think. So I'm gonna pick colonist. Confirm psychological profile. Okay, psychological profile. First one is soul survivor. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. Okay, war hero. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned your medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. And ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Okay, so I'm, I'm thinking war hero, soul survivor. I think... Um, I think I'll go for Soul Survivor Psychological Profile. Confirm military specialization. Okay, military specialization. I think I'm gonna go for the soldier. Now there's soldier, engineer, adept, infiltrator, sentinel, and vanguard. Um, the soldier is a pure uh, weapon specialist specialist, while the others are uh, mixtures of stealth, biotics, and tech. Biotics is something like uh, magic. Um, why I don't like these so much? Uh, uh, first off, there aren't ma any major uh, story impacts, as far as I, I remember. And uh, the second thing is that in Mass Effect 2, when you go to higher difficulties, all others except for Soldier and uh, maybe Infiltrator scale poorly. At least that's my observation. Enemies have health, and then they have armor and shields, 
and certain biotic abilities work only on health and as difficulty goes up the armor and shields on enemies increase and therefore uh, the your ability to successfully use your biotic powers uh, decreases so i'm gonna go with soldier and there we go facial identification that's the default model and the custom models are those here okay so i'm gonna start with this preset facial structure maybe i'm gonna leave that because there are some weird faces I'm gonna leave that skin tone maybe I'll leave it for now uh, complexion hmm this one is a little too clear there are no not many features on the face but I guess I'll go with that well I didn't change anything did I no scars I believe they removed the scars slider in Mass Effect 2 and 3, but I like scars, so I'm gonna put some. Mm, maybe a little one. Yeah, that one. Okay, I'm gonna keep that scar. Okay, going down to head. Neck thickness. Now, I'm gonna try to make the character look a little more like me i guess well my neck is definitely not very thick but if i make it too thin it it doesn't fit a soldier all that well so i'm gonna go with the rather thick neck uh, face size maybe smaller i'm definitely not so bulky uh, cheek width my cheeks are not so wide hm. my wife has very wide and lovely cheeks but not me okay cheekbones same things same thing actually um yeah i'm gonna go with this one cheek gaunt i have no idea what gaunt means or if i'm pronouncing it correct but as you can see it kind of changes the uh, how full your cheeks are and mine are kind of full i guess so i'm gonna leave it like that maybe your size and your orientation Ooh. Oh, I guess it's all right the way it is okay going down to eyes now uh, I believe I I've always had problem with the eyes because I I have rather big eyes definitely bigger than those but uh, all other shapes look kind of strange um, they just I don't know. When you get into the game, your character looks like he's afraid or he's shocked or something like that. So these eyes, I, I think, are the, the best looking in general. Eyes height... Uh, I guess my eyes are more like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, with... Oh my god. Okay. I depth. Hmm. Okay, somewhere here. Brow depth. I guess I don't have so deep browns, but <laughs> I don't know. That just looks better, I think. More serious. Uh, brow height. I believe my brows are closer to my eyes. I'm gonna go with with that. Uh, maybe a little more. Eye color. Maybe mine are a little darker. I guess like that. Okay. Jaw. Now, again, the same thing with the neck. My jaw is not so wide, I guess, but if I make it kind of like that, it, it doesn't look like a real soldier. So I'm gonna stay with a wider jaw. Uh, 
My chin is relatively wide, so... Not that much. Mm. Chin depth? Where is that? Okay, I'm not like this. Uh, height, I guess my chin is... Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. My mouth is definitely closer to my nose than it's to my chin. Mouth. The shape, I think, is pretty close. I have big lips. Okay, I'm gonna pick this, probably. Uh, is it too much? Okay. Mouth width, maybe my mouth is a little wider than that. Okay, lip size, maybe a little bigger. And maybe closer to the nose, a little. Okay, like that. Uh, I think it's looking worse than than we started, than what we started with. But okay, nose. My nose is big, very big, uh, like big as in uh, long. Yes, definitely the longest. It's closest to mine. And nose shape is probably about right. My nose has this curve on it. I guess that's not far from the truth either. Okay, what's the difference between that and this? I guess this one is not so wide. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one. I'm just uh, jabbering here. I'm I'm not sure if if you guys can make sense of what I'm saying. Okay, going down to... Uh, what is it? Facial... What was it called? Oh, hair. Okay, hair. So, beard. Usually, I, I don't shave very often, so I'm usually kind of like that, I guess. Uh, the th one thing I don't like is there is space between the hair and the beard and the stubble, and I believe the default model doesn't have that. Uh, okay, brow. I have rather bushy brows, so... Hmm. Maybe not so much. Okay, I'm gonna... Maybe it's bigger than that? Okay, I'm gonna leave this one. Uh, here... Hmm. Maybe this one? I guess this one is the closest to... Or maybe that one. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. My hair is black, finally. Okay, black hair and black facial hair. Uh, okay. What other beards there are? Maybe that. Usually I'm like that before I shave, but... Um, I guess this one. This one uh, I don't like because it's like a lower resolution version of, of that that one. Like this is more. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that that looks like I have something blurred on my face. I wonder. Maybe I should go with this one. Okay, let's try that one. Okay, and I'm done, I guess. Profile Let's see, finalize. Complete. Hmm. 
Probably it's not so bad. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. So, there we go, that was the character creation. Um, I'm gonna see it, how it looks in the game, and maybe on next video the character will be different, but I, I believe it will be not too much different than, than what you see now. So that was it, thanks for watching, and sorry if I was just uh, babbling too much. Stay tuned, and be good.